He's one of the most viewed YouTubers of all time. What is up, low gangsters? Ah! Last to leave this roller coaster car toilet bit of money. House wins 20,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. Last to remove your hand off this million dollars keeps it. He gives away islands, cars, houses, and hundreds of thousands of dollars like it's nothing. I bought this entire island. I have 10 challenges and we have 10 people. And the last one of you to leave this island keeps it. <laughs> He's driven a campaign to plant tens of millions of trees all over the world. Wow, we actually hit our goal of planting 20 million trees. That's insane. And he has a history of surprising some of the biggest Fortnite players with a whole lot of cash. Mr. Beast just donated $5,000. $10,000, $11.10 to Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast donates $1,000. Another $250. $1,000 from Beast. Dude, Beast donated another $250. $10K. $10,000, dude, let's go. What is up guys, Kristoff back with you all to give you guys an incredible story on Mr. Beast. How he conquered adversity and became one of the most important figures on YouTube in the past two years. If you find this story inspirational and are interested in Fortnite content, then please click subscribe to be notified of Fortnite content we release every day. Alright, where am I? What just happened? What does this say? From Saul, before you can advance, you must flip every switch and kill all the monsters that come out. If you try to open the door without killing them, you will explode. Mr. B's story begins all the way back on May 7th, 1998, when he was born in North Carolina. He grew up in the city of Greenville and for the most part lived a normal early life. That was until February 2012 when he started up his very first YouTube channel. Earlier this year, last year, I did a video on how much money does PewDiePie make and it got quite a bit of views and um, there was a little bit of controversy on the video and people didn't think I, the numbers I said were correct. His first channel was called Mr. Beast 6000 and was nothing like the Mr. Beast we know and love today. He started off in the same place as many gaming YouTubers by trying to become a gaming star. He tried to ride the trends, creating funny compilations in games like Minecraft and Call of Duty, but it just didn't seem like he was able to find his way through the algorithm like some of the stars at the time. When it was clear that the gaming route wasn't going to work for him, Mr. Beast tried out other routes to YouTube stardom, ranging from videos estimating the wealth of other YouTubers to offering tips and tricks to other creators and even commenting on YouTuber drama. There was almost no format that Mr. Beast hadn't tried. Hey bro, can I copy your homework? Yeah, sure man, just make sure you change it so the teacher doesn't notice. It wouldn't be until around 2015 or 2016 that the early Mr. Beast would get his first taste of success on the platform, and it was all due to a series he called the worst intros on the internet. The series was pretty simple, Mr. Beast would sit down and criticize a YouTuber's intro. For the most part, these would be intros made by kids, which were honestly a little cringy. But you can't fault them for that since they're just kids. But unfortunately, you can't find the worst intro series on Mr. Beast's channel anymore. Fans had speculated that they were removed because they were more edgier in comparison to his current content. But through the series, he was able to hit 30,000 subscribers by the middle of 2016. Of course, 30,000 subscribers aren't enough to make a living on the internet, and so in late 2016, Mr. Beast enrolled in college. But this wasn't going to last for long. In interviews, Mr. Beast had said he only managed to last two weeks in college before dropping out. He had told his mom that he'd rather be poor than do anything else other than YouTube. Mr. Beast had tasted success on YouTube, and it was something that he would do anything to capture again, even if that meant leaving his home in North Carolina at only 18 years of age. 99,999. 100,000. What am I doing with my life? He wasn't in college, and he was running out of time to make his dreams a reality on YouTube, so Mr. Beast had to do something drastic and out of the blue. Something that might just cut through all the noise on YouTube and hit the algorithm in just the right way to start reaching as many people as he could. So in January 2017, Mr. Beast uploaded a video of himself counting to 100,000. And, well, guess what? The idea was good enough to go viral. 
The 44 hour long endeavor was a last ditch attempt to get Mr. Beast into the algorithm and generate revenue. He had just come out of college, he left home, and he wasn't really making much money. Something like counting to 100,000 in a single sitting would be guaranteed to go viral, and go viral was exactly what he wanted and what the video accomplished. Pay attention. Fuck me. Well, I guess that's it. I accidentally. After that first viral hit, Mr. Beast started to fall into a bit of a routine. He discovered at long last what the YouTube algorithm liked, and he was ready to start exploiting it. He brought in more and more views with stunts that were similar to his 100,000 counting video. He spun a fidget spinner for 24 hours, watched It's Everyday Bro by Jake Paul for 10 hours without stopping, god that sounds awful, and much, much more. By the end of 2017, Mr. Beast's growth had begun to skyrocket and he reached 1 million subscribers. Over the past three years, Mr. Beast's growth has been astronomical, and now his main channel has over 42.7 million subscribers. The main reason for that is how he's managed to consistently elevate his content, identifying what has worked about that very first viral challenge video, to then bringing it to even greater levels than he had possibly ever imagined. Oh, no, you have 700 grand. Oh, snap, he has it already. Oh, oh. The winner of Survivor Mr. Beast. Chandler. For the most part, Mr. Beast's main channel videos stick to one of two types. The first is his videos that focus on challenges. These are the types of videos that have sort of evolved from his first viral video. From completing challenges on an abandoned island to win the island itself, going through the same drive through a thousand times, to giving someone a million dollars if they were able to keep their hands on the Xbox for the longest, Mr. Beast's creativity for challenges seems to have no bounds. I bought every single car at a car dealership. Can we afford this? I really don't know. Well, that's reassuring. And hey, so we talked over the phone. The paperwork took forever. So these are the 12 cars. I just bought them. And now that I've spent over $100,000 on cars, I need to reprice them because they were way too expensive. This car is $3, $7, $2. This car, we pay you $1,000 to buy. And this car is $4.20. Do not get it confused. That's a great price. His second form of bread and butter content is his charity and donation focused videos. In these videos, he has been known to open up car dealerships with the twist being that he would give away all the cars for free. Or he would sometimes donate tens of thousands of dollars to streamers on Twitch and YouTube, which is where one of Mr. Beast's biggest crossovers into the world of Fortnite begins. The annual Guardian Con event, first held in 2016, is a week-long event that seeks to raise as much money as possible for St. Jude, a leading children's research hospital that finds cures to save the lives of many children with cancer and other life-threatening diseases. In 2018, Mr. Beast was already well on his way to becoming one of the most popular channels on YouTube, and as such, he was able to start throwing his cash around a little more. So, during that year's Guardian Con, the YouTuber made it his goal to mess with Ninja as much as possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 he has mats, no, no, drop the mats. No mats. Oh my god, oh my god, dude. Listen to me, Beast. I need materials <laughs> no. to win. During Ninja's Fortnite streaming segment, he had different incentives for donations. 250 would get him to drop his current weapon, 500 would be all of his materials, and for $1,000 he would only be allowed to use gray weapons, and he also wouldn't be allowed to heal. With those donations incentives in mind, Mr. Beast made it his goal to make Ninja lose as many games as possible by randomly dropping donations in the most inconvenient moments. Ninja's reactions were hilarious, and it all led to money being raised for a fantastic charity. All right, full disclosure, I've never played Fortnite Mobile before, so please don't let me die. Of course, this donation war wasn't the only time Mr. Beast had dipped into the world of Fortnite. On the 25th of April, 2018, Mr. Beast uploaded a Fortnite challenge video that has never been beaten, and honestly might not ever be beaten again. He and his friends took a boat out into the middle of the ocean, filled up a Zorb ball with air, and then chucked the ball with Mr. Beast inside of it out into the ocean. It was here that Mr. Beast booted up Fortnite Mobile for the first time and tried to win a game of Fortnite. 
It didn't go very well. Maybe he needed pro guides to help him out so that he could get some Fortnite coaching. But either way, they went back to the drawing board and threw him back in with an Alienware laptop. That could have solved the problem. Through the heat of the sun, magnified by the Zorb Ball, motion sickness, and internet connection issues, it wasn't until Mr. Beast decided to play from his boat in a game of 50 versus 50 back on mobile that he was finally able to score a win, making him the first YouTuber to win a game of Fortnite in the middle of the ocean. Except to get that win, he actually had to go home and do it all on a green screen. But hey, at least he got the views, am I right? We bought a bus, and now we're turning it into a battle bus. And then we're gonna surprise Tifu with the battle bus. And to prove I'm not lying, this is Tifu's brother right here. Dude, it's gonna be hype. I can't wait to give it to him. But Mr. Beast's coolest Fortnite-inspired videos were yet to come. On the 7th of December 2018, Mr. Beast uploaded a video where he set his sights on another Fortnite star, Tifu. Mr. Beast went through the painstaking process of transforming an everyday school bus into a real-life replica of the battle bus from Fortnite. Teaming up with Tifu's brother, Mr. Beast took the bus on a 20-hour road trip. The bus may have been missing the classic hot air balloon, but it still looked a whole lot like the in-game version of the battle bus. 39 YouTubers, one giant map, 250 hidden weapons. There are 13 teams with three people per team. Everyone has three it. balloons, and if all three of your balloons are popped, oh. you're out. Last team with balloons wins $100,000. There will be two games. His next dip into Battle Royale-inspired content was a massive real-life Battle Royale. Technically, this real-life Battle Royale was an event produced for Apex Legends and included some of the biggest streamers and YouTubers on the planet. From big names like Lachlan to Typical Gamer, the combined audience of all the Battle Royale participants actually topped 1 billion vows per month. The competition was staged in the fields of the Hollywood Sports Park, a location that has been dubbed the best paintball and airsoft park on the planet. While it was sponsored by the Apex Legends publisher EA, Mr. Beast had wanted to put on a real-life YouTuber battle royale as one of his stunts for a while now, but getting all of the YouTubers together had proved to be a struggle. In the video, the 39 different content creators were all to split into 13 teams of three. Each of them had three balloons, and if they were all popped, then they were considered to be killed. Much like in many Battle Royale games, the map slowly shrunk over time. In this case, a group of staff narrowed the playable area with caution tape. There were two games in total, with 100,000 on the line for each game. While you might have expected a group of hardened Battle Royale veterans to come out on top, the first game went to the team made up of the artists Jaden Animation and Odd Ones Out and Anthony Padilla. The second match was uploaded to Mr. Beast Extra, one of Mr. Beast's many alternate channels. This one went a little bit more as expected, and the winning team ended up being Preston Plays, Unspeakable, and Typical Gamer. Mr. Beast has seen a massive rise to success over the past few years, and it's a rise that has been carefully planned and managed to ride off viral hits to put himself into position of YouTube dominance. But he's not doing it all for himself. In fact, while Mr. Beast does get a hefty return for his investment on each video, his real reasons for grinding so hard at the YouTube game speak to his generosity and his philanthropic nature. First of all is, of course, his friends. Characters like Chris, Chandler, and many more have become frequent additions to Mr. Beast's videos, and a lot of the money or insane items that Mr. Beast gives away actually ends up going to them. It's safe to say that putting his friends into better situations is probably one of the many reasons Mr. Beast goes so hard at YouTube in the way that he does. But there's also one major reason. He wants to help people, and by doing that, he's going to be opening up a food bank. Not every YouTuber has an ultimate goal in mind when they create content on YouTube, but Mr. Beast is certainly one of those people who does. His ultimate goal is to open a food bank, and it's one that he talks about a lot on Twitter. With all of his wealth, one of the things that Mr. Beast wants to do is make people's lives better, and the food bank is the end game that will bring his goal to fruition. Whether or not I think the food bank is the ultimate goal or if he just really wants to improve people's lives, that's up for debate. Either way, he's a good-intentioned person and I'm very happy that he's succeeding on YouTube. In 2020, Mr. Beast has numerous channels ranging from his main channel to a gaming channel and is one of the most popular YouTubers on the platform. He's done all of this while battling against Crohn's disease, which is well known for sapping the energy of those afflicted. He's one of the most inspirational YouTubers on the planet, and who knows what he's going to be doing next. And I'll see you in the next one.